What happened in your life that you were expecting to be joyful, but was more traumatic? My first real makeout session, we were laying in her backyard at night on towels in the grass, an hour later she asks what's that smell? And we look, we had been rolling in dog shit we didn't see because it was dark outside. The birth of my son. He died. Thought growing up would be cool. Turns out responsibilities suck. A multi-day non-stop sailing race. Down and back the WA coastline in glorious summer conditions on a 50 yacht. We did the event in 50 hours and it was probably 50 of the worst hours of my life, the first couple were okay. Started off at 9am on a Friday, very light winds, boats hardly moving, then at 11am, 3 hours before forecast, a 30-35 to 35 knot wind, from the direction we were meant to be going, rolled in, instead of the 15-20 to 20 knot wind forecast, what followed was massive waves. This continued for the entire beat to our destination. One by one everyone was so sick, wet, cold and exhausted they went down below to rest. Leaving just myself and one other to double hand a 50 racing boat in 30 to 35 knots of wind. This continued all through the night. We had massive gear failure at about 3 am, which ended with the two of us on deck doing all the work being soaked inside of our wet weather gear. Within 5 minutes of our arrival at the marker we are to sail around and then head back to where we started, the wind just glasses off to nothing and we drifted for hours in the now scorching heat the day after starting. Then I finally get to rest, after 24 hours straight, physically destroyed. I go down below, strip my gear off and get into the only available bunk. And it s soaked to the core. Some asshole slept in the bunk in their wet weather gear and had ruined it. Nevertheless I fall asleep after a while, tucked into the fetal position against the side of the hull. When I awake, I awake with possibly the worst sinus pain of my life. Turns out I am allergic to mold and this boat has mold in the hull lining. I spend the last 20 hours of the race with a thumping migraine, worst of my life. This is after only 4 hours off. I don't even know if you can call it sleep. It was so completely traumatic it changed my life. On a side note, it was so bad, everything else in life seems so much better by comparison. I had the best sleep of my life after that, and work the next day was the easiest day ever. Skydiving. First, I spent 15 minutes free falling from the sky with what felt like the most traumatic front and back wedgie ID ever experienced. No one talks about that aspect. Then I was strapped to a nice Australian man instructed to dive with but when we were breaching land, I didn't he put my feet as forward as needed, so I made us both fall forward on the ground, he was essentially on top of me at that point laying on my back and he exclaimed, this is how I met my first wife. In front of like 10 people I didn't he know, 